Anthony Mundine is prepared to take a pay cut in order to fight Denmark's unbeaten WBA super middleweight champion Mikael Kessler on home soil. The big money fight was announced today with Kessler getting the lion's share of the purse. Not many people in the business thought Mundine would be game to take on Kessler. The WBA champ is highly rated, but has only fought outside his native Denmark once before. And Mundine is taking a pay cut to get him here. Um, for them to, to even sign a contract to fight me down here, obviously they think they're going to get a fair go, but obviously they think that their boy is better than me. It's up to me to show them that he ain't. Kessler took Manny Siaka apart in Copenhagen last November, and he's the man that stripped Mundine of his title. They say Kessler's the best right now. So uh, everyone thought I was going to duck him, everyone thought I was going to slip by him and fight somebody else. I'm, I'm, I'm taking this thing head on, man. You know, only, only way to f the meat fire is with fire. It's a coup for the Mundine camp to persuade Kessler to travel down under, but they're still smarting at the decision by New South Wales Boxing not to let him fight in the state for his last bout against Darmel Castillo. The point was a great indigenous athlete was about to fight a fighter um, to have a fight before a world title, which was much needed. They used a lot of standover tactics and intimidation. There was no understanding at all. Five days out before a fight, um, Siaka pulled out. And they didn't care. They showed totally that, that, to the point where they were inhumane. Kessler's credentials are unquestionable. Undefeated in 35 fights, 27 wins by knockout. For Mundine to become a two-time world champion, he'll have to produce a career-best performance. Anthony Mundine's best win to date was against Antoine Eccles when he became world champion. Anthony Mundine needs to fight on that level, but better. Mundine's praying for a win by his Australian rival Danny Green in Germany against Marcus Bayer this weekend. He got, he got a win for us. You know, for the first time in my life, I'm on their team. I'm on their team. I'm young for them. And if that happens, the biggest fight in this country for many years will be a match made in heaven. What well, a stage you set. We try to make this deal many a time. But we got to ask them, are they willing to risk their title against me? And I will be the best because I would have fought the best. He ain't fighting the best. John Bulldog, SBS Sport.